So let me show you guys what I've been working on. today because I want to tell you about this little experiment I got going and I consider this like a I'll say it's like a lifestyle project um, you know I think I addressed it in another video but I do live in New York and right now we're in the middle of our winter um, ground mr. groundhog said we had six weeks left so I'm trying to make the best of it staying indoors and one thing I do enjoy is planting but with the frost and with the cold that's a no-no so I came up with this idea and this was born um, so I decided to use an old comforter bag that I found laying around my room and with that I decided to plant sprouted garlic um, and potato pot potatoes potatoes that I had around um, you know because sometimes I'll buy you know my fruits and vegetables in bulk and I don't get to them either before they expire or before they start sprouting so you know, never throw away, you know, vegetables that sprout. You could always plant them, unless you don't feel like planting them, of course. You don't want them to sit around and get yucky. But I decided to plant them, and I, you know, was using this bag. I got potting soil for, from Dollar Tree, like, where everything is actually a dollar. And I had this comforter bag laying around, so technically it was like a dollar, dollar craft kind of thing. And... These, what I used to plant was from things that I was already eating or things that were gonna go to waste. So, you know, in all ways, I found that this was a really, really good project. Definitely going to update you guys on this. I'm really excited to, uh, you know, transpose these when the warm weather comes to see how, you know, how much we can grow. Stay tuned for any updates on this project. I call it the Comforter Set Greenhouse. And yeah, just, you know, let me know if you guys decide to do it. It's so much fun. And especially if you have little ones, it keeps the dirt contained and their hands won't get dirty. But there will come a time where as they grow, you will have to transplant them. But it's such a fun project. You know, you have, you're able to let the light shine. And so also, make sure the plants that you're planting are plants that you know should be receiving well good sunlight should be receiving moisture not moisture dry not dry i mean you could always leave this open if you don't want it to get too moist but definitely also do your research as i always say and let me know again like if you guys try this out so thank you guys for watching and until next time these over here are potatoes, and you see all those kind of stringy roots? They all, they didn't even have that on them four days ago. This is crazy. All they had was these buds here. 